This week on Humans of Agriculture, we're seeking to understand more about the egg industry. So where better to head than Green Eggs? Nestled away in the northern Grampians of Victoria, Green Eggs is owned and managed by the Warner family. Today, we've got brother and sister combination of Ollie and Kate Warner showing us the ropes. Well, welcome to Green Eggs here in the northern Grampians. Um, we're here with Ollie and Kate. And so we're just gonna understand a, a little bit more of what's a day in the life like for, for a chicken and for you guys as well. Yeah, sure. So we're at Shed 1 here and we just let the birds out. So we let them out every morning at 7am. Um, and then the collectors will go through, check the birds, feed them water, have a walk through the shed and make sure they're all okay. Um, and then start collecting for the day and just checking on them probably four times a day, walking through the sheds and making sure they're all okay. Um, and then walking around the yard and making sure everything's in order. Yeah, are you guys using pesticides, insecticides, or is it all just trying to keep it natural and let the chickens manage it? So we'll, we'll manage the bird health. Um, we don't use anything that we don't have to. Um, it's all about just keeping them as happy as possible. Yeah. And generally they look after themselves pretty well. Yeah. When they're walking around the paddock and they're scratching things up, they're eating lots of different bugs. Um, also picking away at the grass, we find they're quite good on weeds. Yeah. They seem to pick away at a, a lot of different varieties of weed seeds. Yeah. Um, Marshmallow grass. Yeah, and, and they lift the fertility as they go, go over the grass, yeah. um, which helps with pasture growth. And yeah, generally the better varieties of pasture seem to thrive after the chickens have been there. So they come in and they Scratch it up, which I suppose is that air at the soil. Yeah, so when they're scratching, they're not they're not really digging down very deep. Um, this area is probably one that's been dug particularly hard, but yeah, yeah for like for example, at caravan eggs, when they're when they're passing over it, they're they're leaving more manure and stuff on top than they are creating holes. Yeah. So it is a real like ecosystem that the chicken working. Yeah, they seem to fit in pretty well. Yep. After most of the girls from barn one were out and about. We headed over to barn number two to let them out. On the way, we stopped by the automatic packing station, which in each shed is responsible for sorting over 8,000 eggs a day. Um, so this is one point where we do quality control. So as they come out, we watch, look at them all um, and pull out anything we're not happy with, anything that's got um, a soft shell, dirty or broken. And for the waste product, um, whereabouts do they go there? That goes into our compost. Put yeah. the manure and gets turned over it. And, yeah, and then we can spread it out in the paddocks. Back on the pastures. With over 38,000 eggs being produced, sorted and packaged a day here, it was clear that this is no ordinary small family business. Such an impressive production of scale, it truly is remarkable just to see for myself how well this system was running. And so if there's like a disease outbreak or something like that, like, can you guys contain it to the individual sheds fairly well? Yeah, so we've got biosecurity between each shed, so we um, disinfect shoes and everything between sheds. So if there was an outbreak in one shed, you can just isolate that shed um, completely. Yep. And so they come out here, they run around for the day, they scratch, and then at, at night time you turn the lights on and it's dinner time back inside. Yep, so the lights are all programmed, so they, yep, they come on um, like four o'clock in the afternoon, so it's light already inside for them. And as the sun sets, they gravitate towards the light go back inside, yes, for their buffet, dinner and yeah. drink. And so I suppose like, when it comes to learning how to chicken farm, like is it, have you guys done courses? Or is it literally that you slowly built yourself up and then worked it alongside other businesses and then... Just pretty getting pretty much that in a nutshell really, we've worked along, alongside with other people. Um, We've got a consultant that we use that's been very important for a lot of information that we've gained. Um, he's got connections in a lot yeah, of areas to Just creating contacts has been pretty important for us, but as for tertiary education towards chicken farming, we have done none of that. <laughs> <laughs> and Ollie, have you got like a favourite like quality or aspect that Kate kind of brings to the business that you think like the business wouldn't be the same if we didn't have Kate involved? <laughs> uh, I think I've alluded to it earlier, but it, it, Kate brings what to the family business what a lot of people in in small business do. It's just it's tenacity, it's work ethic. It's, it's trying really hard to be proud of the brand that you're putting your name to, and Kate does that really well. She seems to manage the program that we've got here faultlessly. I think. I think as a collective group, all five of us have got a pretty um, good attitude towards giving it a go and not 
not leaving anything out really when, when we put our mind to something we're all we're all um, very well headed in the same direction pretty well. Very stubborn. Yeah. <laughs> it can work both ways, but yeah, no, we're we're it's 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 pretty enjoyable to be a part of something that all five of us want it to head in the same direction. Yeah. Oh it's exciting. I can't wait to see where it all ends up for you guys, so awesome. So the chickens lay the eggs, eggs come from the sheds. In, straight into here or to the... Yep, into the cool room. Yep. Um, and then we grade Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Mm -hmm. So they come out from the cool room, they go through, they get washed, they come across the candling booth where we check for cracks, blood spots, any abnormalities. Yep. And they come around, they get weighed into their allocated size. So we've got jumbos, 800, 700, 600, 500. Um, and then they're in cartons or into catering trays, mm -hmm. boxed up on the pallet and in the truck. How easy as that. Easy as that. Well, water diet was out at Green Eggs. Getting to understand more about where and how our eggs reach our favourite meals. A big thank you to the whole Warner family and to Kate and Ollie for having me along for the ride. There's something really special about understanding more about the people behind our food and fibre.